Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. St. Petersburg pastor Paul Gibson doesn't have same-sex couples knocking down his door for him to marry them, but he's not opposed to doing it. My policy would be that I would insist on premarital counseling with them, and, and at, after that, I would make the decision on whether I thought they should be married, the same way I would with a, a mixed-gender couple. Men and women of faith were out in full force Wednesday, turning a House committee into a divided religious debate. State Representative Scott Plakin's Pastor Protection Act aims to protect clergy from being forced to marry couples that infringe upon their beliefs. As everyone knows, there's been uh, numerous changes in the law and the culture. Central Florida Reverend Chris Walker says pastors refusing to marry same-sex couples could be targeted. They have their right to be married, and that's fine. They have their license to play house, but we're going to preach the Bible and we're not going to be held accountable for preaching the truth because truth is now the new terrorism. Opponents of the bill say that men and women of the cloth are already protected. Pastors cannot be forced to marry people, but they have a right to decide who they want to marry. Pastor Brant Copeland, whose church is right down the street from the Capitol, says the law isn't needed and took it a step further. I urge you uh, not to adopt this unnecessary and I think basically homophobic bill. Similar legislation has already passed in Texas and Oklahoma. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.